what is going on fellas welcome back to debit credit nation so we are going to talk about one of the most ignored and unexplored area in collection management so we are going to talk about success evaluation in dunning now what is dunning like with the help of dunning you can create and send payment reminders or dunning letters to your business partners to remind them of their overdue payables and to request payment we can also print correspondence using dunning the reminders are going to be sent to the customers automatically via the batch program nobody is going to manually call the customer to remind for their overdue balances so we all know what dunning is now once the dunning is implemented nobody bothers whether with the help of this dunning whether we are able to collect money in a better way or not so that is called success evaluation so your client might have introduced dunning by spending a lot of money and if you are using dunning by collection strategy it is going to be very complex even most of your business have forgotten what they asked initially so it's pretty common that they get confused and later they come back to the consultant and maybe the consultant go through the fs and explain that this is what they initially asked for so after spending a lot of money they never check whether this dunning reminder this collection this automation this sending letter has improved their collection cycle or not today we are going to talk about that thing which is called success reminder okay so for that i'm going to start with dunning so this is my contract account and currently it has these open items so if i go into any of the open item i see it has three component so this one is for water the second part of the invoice is also for water and the third part is for another product which is called waste water so it has three contracts ending with 16 then ending with 15 and ending with 14 if i go to the additional data tab so the billing period is 3 3 2020 to 1 4 2020 so if i go ahead all the three line items are for the same billing period and the all the three documents are due on 6 4 if i go back i can see that all three documents are due for 6 4 now i'm going to run dunning and after that i'm going to collect some money and let's see how can we evaluate whether my dunning is successful or not so first i need to copy the contract account so the here dunning by collection strategy is activated slash o i'm going to run fvva which is my dunning proposal i'm going to copy an existing variant copy say so this is reminder one here i'm going to replace my contract account this is the one and say all three documents are due on 6 4 2020 say i'm going to done it on say first january of 2021 which is essentially first january friday okay so I'm going to run Dunning on 1st January 2021 and I'm going to start current run which means that it is going to run the activity as well. In the additional log I have additional information and I'm going to save it. That's right I have not entered any business partner because it is gpart here but I did not enter any business partner. I entered only the vcon that's fine it won't impact anything. So save and schedule program run okay completed so go to environment look for dunning history and here it has gone to the collection step co01 if i double click on the amount i will see that it has done these three documents so basically all three line items are done and the dunning amount is if i put a summation so the dunning amount is 1327.07 i think this is the open item yeah the entire amount got done and currently you see the collection strategy field is blank if i click on refresh it will be populated with c001 
okay so it has been done that means the customer did not pay so the bill became overdue the uh, open item was for 1300 something and the customer did not pay and we just did the dunning based on the collection strategy whatever is mentioned in the brf plus that's fine till here everything is fine all the company does this now say after being done the customer got scared and customer thought of making a payment say the customer makes a payment of so these are the three open items so the customer makes a payment of say say 200 customer thought that okay i got a letter reminder letter let me make a partial payment so the customer is going to make the payment slash ofp05 i am going to collect the payment using payment lot create payment lot say after being done on 1st of january 2021 the customer decides that he's going to pay on 10th of january 2021 that means right after 10 days since he was done so let me check whether 10 1 is a weekday so 10 1 was a saturday let me select maybe say uh, 8 1 okay so 8th of january he makes the payment say he makes a payment of say 200 okay and the payment is made at contract account level anyways i have only one document open close and post the payment lot so posting made now my account balance will be reduced so it will become 1127.07 okay because the customer has just paid 200 dollar so i hit refresh so it got reduced to 1127 now when we done this customer we haven't noticed one thing so let's go back to the dunning history so this is the dunning history if i go to the right hand side so i know it, there is a next dunning date and all so if i go to the right hand side I see a success determined date okay what is this success determined date success determined date is a date on which the success can be determined that means the date on which we will check whether the customer has made any payment okay how is the success determined date is arrived at so for that let me take you to fkk maco table so copy the contract account slash show ac16 i will open fkk maco so enter the contract account dunning cancelled equal to blank f8 so this is the one and currently there is a field called success evaluation success percentage my bad so let me bring this field up in the top so currently it is zero percent success okay and also there is one more table which is created just for success evaluation the table name is v underscore fkk macro underscore succ so here you just need to enter the uh, sorry here you have to enter the business partner not the contract account so enter the business partner and it will tell you that i think this is the one so here also we see a success determined date now what is the success determined date the success determined date is a date on which we will evaluate to see whether the customer has made any payment or not and how this date is determined so this date is determined by adding 14 days since the dunning issue date so if i go to the dunning history to see what is my dunning issue date my dunning issue date is 1 1 2021 so it will add 14 days to it so if you see 7 7 so 15th january is a success determination date so even if i go to this table and hit an f1 it will say that date for the success valuation of dunning if the success of the dunning has not been evaluated yet 
the field contains the earliest possible date for this success valuation it is by the it is said by the dunning proposal run you can change the proposed value seven days after payment target date if available or 14 days after date of issue so in my case i don't have any payment target date that's why 14 days have been added and you can change it in even 308 okay if success of the dunning has already been evaluated field contains the date of valuation so before the success valuation is done it is going to have the date as issue date plus 14 days or if, we, if it has a uh, uh, payment target date then it will add seven days and once the success valuation is completed the date on which such success valuation is completed that date will be populated so we haven't executed the success valuation yet so currently both fkk maco and this new table both of them has zero percent success so let me show you how you can run success valuation so for that there's a t code called slash show fpvv this is valuation of dunning so let me copy one of the existing run and create our variant so maybe copy from this one say suc1 yes here i will replace my business partner so my business partner is this one 98 copy paste so i want to check the success i want to do success valuation on uh 15 one so it was 15 one and say let me uh and we have received the payment on 8th okay so let me do the success valuation on say 28th okay say 20th i'm going to check whether after dunning have we able to collect any money or not so first i will run in simulation mode and let's see how does it behave then i will run the actual run so save schedule program run okay refresh okay it is completed go to the application log and it tells us that so two cases it can find and it also says that dunning success is 15.07 percent now what is this percentage let's first do the update run then i'll tell you what is this percentage okay so go back and remove the simulation and execute save schedule program run okay so completed so this 15.7 percent will be updated in both the tables so both fkk maco and the v table both so here this line will have the 15.71 percent so hit refresh so 15.07 percent and since i executed success today that's why today's date is populated so now let's understand what is 15.07 so my dunning balance was 1327.07 out of which we just collected 200 dollar let's see what is the percentage of recovery so 200 out of 1327.07 into 100 so the success percentage is 15.07 that means after executing the dunning run we see that the customer after getting the letter he has made a partial payment and he did not pay the entire amount so he paid a percentage so every day after your dunning batch you must execute this success valuation job which is fpvv if you run this job then the report the okay let me show you the fkk maco table as well in the fkk maco table so my success is zero and you hit refresh it is 15.07 so every time you run this job it will tell you that whether the customer has made any payment or whether there is a success whether your dunning got your money recovered if so what percentage of the money is recovered so this is how you can measure the success of the dunning so ask your client to run this program fpvv and it should be added with your batch schedule so that once the dunning is executed then or maybe after payment you can run this batch to see what percent of the payment is recovered due to this dunning also you can see this all these three figures success 
सक्सेस डिटरमाइंड ऑन और सक्सेस वैल्यूशन स्टेटस इन एफ के के मैको टेबिल सो इफ यू गो बैक टू एफ के के मैको टेबिल सी यू हैव द सक्सेस सक्सेस डिटरमाइंड ऑन एंड सक्सेस वैल्यूशन स्टेटस सो यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन टू दिस टेबिल वी एफ के के मैको ऑन स्कोर एस यू सी यू कैन डायरेक्टली गेट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम हेयर सो आई एम गोइन टू स्टॉप दिस वीडियो राइट हेयर इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो और इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट एस सी पी फिनांस और कंट्रोलिंग और फाइका प्लीज 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 सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल डेबिट क्रेट नेशन आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम विथ अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच